Hey everyone, Park with Grimtastic Baits. I've been wondering something I probably shouldn't be, but I can't help but think. This is the Epic Bait Bolds 1.7 inch prey bait. Myself and several others complain about how this thing dents like it does. I was wondering, and I don't think I've ever seen anybody try this before. What happens with this mold or any mold as a matter of fact. Sorry, I seem to always have idiots pulling into my driveway. Anyway, um, what if I put it in a vacuum chamber and while it's still hot and degas it while it's in the mold? I don't know what it's gonna do. I've never tried it. I haven't seen anybody else ever try it, but what the heck, let's give it a go. All right, so this will be interesting. Just doing a single color. It's just an experiment. Oh, well, let's wait for take two because in order to get it into the vacuum chamber, I could only clip it on the top that way. And of course, naturally, what's the first thing I do? <laughs> Overflow, flashed it. Let's try that again. Take two. So at least we know the mold's hot now, right? Yeah, okay. <sighs> I was ever so gentle that time. Let it cool and then we'll find out what happened. I literally have no idea of what this is going to look like. No clue. But I'm very kind of, you know, I'm going to do the best I can to show the sprue too. I don't even have a prediction. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to predict top half is going to be a ton of air bubbles, bottom half is going to be beautiful. Huh. Um. Well. That telltale denting is gone. I got some flashing there. But that telltale denting is gone. Huh. I usually will get it sometimes, even on the bottom ones, doing a single shot. Now, there was a lot of flashing. I contribute that to there being no clamps on the bottom. But I, I'm a bit flabbergasted. I, I did not expect that. These things. Wow. Sorry, I'm just I'm, I'm checking the tails and everything. I sorry, I bumped the camera. Aside from the flashing, which can easily be pulled off. There's a teeny tiny little dent on this one, very tiny, and not in the places you would normally get it. Might be onto something here.
All right, so you know that worked with a single, so you know what my next idiotic second step is. Uh -huh. The double. I'm just using nasty leftover plastic. Molds cool. I'm, uh, this will be interesting to see what it does. By the way, this is unsafe as hell. Don't do this. This was just out of a lack of any better idea to get the thing to fit in there and keep it clamped without flashing. So, not very safe on my part. Don't do that. <sighs> Yeah, don't do that. It don't work. That didn't work at all. So don't do that. A very unusual transition. However, I guess we weren't doing it to look at the how well it laminated, are we? We're looking for the dents. And looking for dents. I don't see any dents. Oh, there we go. There's a good dent you can really see in the light. There's one there too. It go. Okay, well, I'm sorry everyone. I thought I was onto something here. I don't know. Still a lot less denting than I would normally see when doing a double shot or a laminate way less than others the bottom ones always the bottom ones i don't know am i onto something should i keep going with this is it just a stupid idea i'm willing to hear what you think or if anyone else has tried this or thought about it maybe if i were to instead of putting it directly into the pot there's another way to pressurize the top of the sprue like some sort of connection to take it from here and just put it right into the sprue I don't know you guys are a lot smarter than me on betting so tell me what you think tell me if it's possible tell me if you like the idea tell me if there's a safer way to do it right anyway thought I'd give it a run just because I was sitting here thinking about it Works great on singles. Kind of a pain in the butt to throw it in the vac chamber every time, but man, if you want to get some pretty looking baits that have no denting, those are 2.3s, 1.7s, just messing around with plastic, doing some experimenting today. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm not your dad, I can't tell you what to do, but thanks for watching. And uh, I don't know if I'll post this as a Friday one or just as an extra. Anyway. Have a good one, everybody.